So, uh, what's up? What's going on? Back again, back again for a uh, part two of the documentary. We saw we caught a little, caught a little flex. So, she, we surfed. Yeah. Word. Yeah. So, uh, we big time now. I don't even know where to look. Like. <laughs> we gonna. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna we gonna we gonna get back into it and we're gonna get get back more in depth into it. Maybe maybe uh talk about some stuff that you guys might wanna hear. You know? Mm. So uh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So we might we might have a few topics today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like be alive now, so, let's go. Uh, we're chilling now, let's go. Of course. Syria remix. Ink like. And uh, so we talk about this trailer. We watched the trailer. And uh, pretty much, I'm just going to get some of these guys' opinions. And uh, y'all chime in. Leave comments. The Dr. CB with yes. the Nick? Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, mm -hmm. you want to start or you want me to go first, man? Hmm? You want to start with this, man? Go ahead. I mean, I like the documentary, man. I ain't even going to like the trailer. Well, I can't say the documentary, but the trailer. The most definitely the way he set it up, I do believe that like, it's so many realms that he can go into. So many different places he can go into. So I do like the fact that it gave you just enough to be interested, mm -hmm. not enough to tell a story. But I don't think it really soothed my thoughts on exactly how it's going to be though. Because I feel like it could be so wide, I don't know if it's still going to be what we need or not. So I think that's the big thing. But it was dope. Because right now, when you look at that, the trailer, I'm just, I'm realizing that's that's like a lot of Nipsey work. Like, that was probably already close to finished. Nip already kind of, I think he had the manuscript and his team had already written out how that was going to go. Okay. What are you looking for as far as the document? What do you want to see in this document? Everything. Everything like what? All the footage. I want to see every last piece of footage Nipsey put out. I think that's what everybody wants to see. But I think the big thing is how do you tie it together because he wasn't there to tie it together. You know what I mean? Like you're going to need to understand like the basis of why he even asked those questions or even cared enough to look into it. That's what I wonder if Nick can capture, but I realize there's probably other people that's doing that. But so that's why I say I don't know yet, because the person that could be doing it, we don't know how. You know what I mean? I don't know how much of the team he's kept or any of that. So I think it's just still right now. It's just a trailer. Like I'm still like the fact that it just said coming soon. That's bothered me. <laughs> like I might be petty, yeah. you get what I'm saying? But yeah. I feel like if you drop this, then you should about know what the project line for this to be out. And then like I'm a. So I don't know if y'all been watching it, but I've been watching that last dance with the about Michael Jordan and the Bulls. That was ten episodes. So I feel like if you can get ten episodes out of Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, <laughs> you know what I mean? This should have ten episodes. Like this should be one of those things. But I'm not, I don't know if it's gonna be like this. Like if it's forty five minutes, I'm gonna be really disappointed because I'm gonna feel like I didn't get all the footage that Nipsey put out there. And when you're talking about a subject like this, I think it's about being informed. Right. You know what I mean? Because not having information is just as bad as being misinformed. Right. Because you don't know it exists. And when you're talking about like Dr. CB, that's a whole discussion in itself versus just when you talk about American corruption in the medical field. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And what they do about, like when you really talk about how much it costs to get healthcare, that's a 45 hour long conversation within itself to talk about it then you want to talk about not just itself but what's it's done against black people that's a hour long conversation because <clears throat> I think everybody in the country can see it right now like healthcare is expensive especially the older you get and we're trying to live where you can become older you know what I'm saying 80 year old people have bills that are more expensive than us and they don't have the ability to work 
when you start thinking about the fact that they just need dehumidifiers in the house, they gotta have fire alarms and this, like if you can't walk or you become disabled, you have to have this, special glasses, special shoes, special everything. You might have to live on a restricted diet because your stomach like, and more and more it becomes expensive. You go to the doctor, the medicine, all these things become more and more expensive. That alone, that's our conversation. So, but it was a, the documentary was well enough put together. And I seen so many people that I think are inspirational to black people that I'm like, okay. So I'm telling you, I can listen to Tyreek and Dr. Umar really speak for an hour, bro, on just corruption alone. The information Dr. Umar and them going to give, like, a lot of people don't get that on the day to day. Like, these are real deal, like, people say what they want to say, but these are guys that really study this stuff. Like, yeah. they wake up and look at it every day. Yeah. They think about it. Like, I don't I don't look up and think about that every day. Yeah, because I was on the <laughs> Hidden Colors. I watched, I yeah. got to watch the fourth one. Oh, so you seen the Hidden Colors. Oh, so, yeah, you, yeah. so you already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the way they drop it, but Hidden Colors yes. is like, bro, you yes. sit and you watch Hidden Colors. You don't just view that. Yeah, you watch that. More than one time. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And that's what I don't want. More I don't want this time. to be something we view. Like if this 45 minutes is something you view, you can you can gain all the knowledge it's gonna give you, possibly. But when you drop it like they dropped hidden color, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden color be having you over there in emotions, boy. Yeah. Most definitely. You go to work different. Most <laughs> you go to work different after that one. So my guy. Yes, ma'am. How do you feel about the trailer? I liked it. It was cool. Um, you know how they say you can see something and put you on the edge of your seat? Like, you want to see more? I want to see more. And I definitely was, uh, I was in the moment, so I was thinking that I was about to really see the damn documentary. It's going to come on. It's giving different people's perspective and all the rest of this shit. So I'm sitting up pretty, I'm on the edge of my seat like, hell, I want to see what's going on. And then they put some words up that you said you didn't like and I didn't want to see coming soon motherfucker win yeah like come on man when? come on don't do this to me man when I that's like the only now, right discrepancy i, mean, I had when we now. didn't say this shit been out for a month the, up underneath it was out yeah is the, the trailer's now. been out for a month come on man we've been waiting on this for like before then she died. Yeah. Before he died, he so announced like, it yeah. on the breakfast club so i'm feel, working on something so y'all get on i feel like that was already done I like, knew that I already been working They might on be this. going back, like, like you know revising it and editing it like they've been doing all the other great books of the world. And got don't don't, don't revise shit. this, bro. Don't revise exactly. it. Exactly. If it ain't put together, all you should be doing is put finishing touches. Exactly. Yes. I just want I just touches. want to know when it comes out. The the, the uh, trailer's good. The it's, trailer's good. I just I, want to know when it comes out. I want to see it. And bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel a certain type of way because it feel like Nick adding stuff. You know they adding stuff. Like, he why did only, you go? He ain't the only one adding. I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? Why did you go? Right. Like, so what they, made you want to pick okay, up Okay, see, and, and, and see that was one of my questions. And I, that was one of my questions I was going to ask y'all. Like, what did y'all think Nick's reason was to pick up this documentary? Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm about to go back behind the scenes quick. Listen, you know why I think Nick did it. You know why I think Nick did it. I know. You know why I think Nick did it. <laughs> I answer. Uh... I am not for down in a, a, a black man trying to do anything positive. I'm all for that, but there's some, something called what monetary gain, some shit like that, where finances and money is involved. And everybody knew this shit was going to sell like cold water in hell. And the person who picks this shit up and decides to put their name on it and roll with it, gonna get them some money. And Nip's name was attached to it, so that's some money. So I think it's I think it's money. I think it's money. I think it's money. Why couldn't you wasn't trying to tag team with that man on that shit when he was alive and try to do it? If I find something if you're working on something that I wanted yeah. to work on, I'm finna come to you like, bro, can we double team on this shit? Listen, I ain't finna wait for you to die. And then, like, I'm finna get his shit. Bro, I think you're right. I ain't <laughs> hating on it. I ain't you, hating I mean, on it. Listen, I'm but, with you. That's like, why I'm laughing because I feel like you said the same thing, but you, you trying to make it I'm laughing. I ain't trying to, I ain't just trying to say, fuck Nick Cannon. Yeah, you I ain't saying, you saying that neither. I'm not saying that, but. But it's really what the fuck did what way. what what made you say I'm gonna pick up where Nip left off? I'm gonna pick up where Cuz left off and put out this say this shit to my people. 
I just wondered that because I really don't know. If like, it I, were me, I would have left it alone. I promise I would, but that's just if it were me and I was in that lane. I just left it alone. I think that's like go back to like, <clears throat> like kind of like the last thing. Like it's just Nick skepticism. Like I'm just so skeptical of Nick. You better leave him alone before he put a diss track out on you. Man, uh, man listen here, man. Holly man, can, man. Holly can see the tough, yo. Man, I like Charlie too. I ain't talking give about Give me that. Give me that. Give me no, that. He need all the help. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listen, man. Listen, man. What? I'm listen. Give me a hundred thousand. I'm full of shit. I rap with the niggas, man. Fuck that shit. Man. I'm full of shit. I ain't no, gonna rap, I I ain't gonna rap no corny shit like Nick. I, I bet you that. I'm full of shit. I'm starting some shit. I bet you it'd be tough, yo. <laughs> <laughs> be tough, yo. <laughs> I just hope shit. that the uh the the uh documentary is well worth the wait. And I hope it's up to what Nipsey would have done. I hope his family gets proceeds from it. See, and that's what I get mad about, bro. Because I know it's going to be worth it because the information. Mm -hmm. The information in itself is like a chess box of gold. But. You get what I'm saying? It's like a church chest of gold. Is it going to be full of disclosure? That's what I'm that's saying. The thing. Is they going to give it all saying. to us? Or are they just going to give us what they want us to know? Nipsey Hussle visited the Mayan ruins. Mm-hmm. If I don't see that, wait a minute, he did. Yes. yes. Damn. No, yeah, I'm sitting up here going, shot, shot said, video yeah, I'm sitting up here going, mm hmm, but I'm like, listen, I'm just listening. I ain't know he did that. Listen, man. What do you think Victory Lap? What Victory Lap shot over? I forgot which one it was. One of the videos was shot over. Mm. I know he went because I was paying attention, like when he was on Twitter and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I was rocking with him. Like before, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, that's dope. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like that's the type of stuff that I was like, bro, I want to travel, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, this man was like, yo. And he did it by, based on him. He was like, yo, I went back to where, like, my people were supposed to come from. Yeah. And I bathed in the waters that they bathed in when we, you know what I mean? Right. Like, when the first children of my people was created, came here from the gods or whatever you want to believe. When my people first got here, they was bathing their children in this water. Word. And I came and bathed myself in that water with my answers, letting them know, like, no matter where they took us around the world, I can make it back. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Word. If I don't see that, but I see Nipsey, I mean, I see Nick go, I can't even say it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how I feel, man. <laughs> you know I feel, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I got to see Nick go talk to people about, what do you think that they really wanted to do to us? Don't ask somebody in Africa what American government wanted to do to us because we've seen what they did to us. Right. The proof is in the pudding. We have the information. That's what we're putting out there. What we want to show you is how to inspire you and motivate you to get past it. Yeah. And that's what I don't know if he can catch. Mm -hmm. But then, like I said, I got to realize other people may be doing it, but I think at some point it's like, you can't allow it. You can't allow it. But I think that's, if he's breaking in a series, I think he can let other people do all the work for him. Yeah. Like, Dr. Umar can do enough talking to get you through an episode. And see, that's another thing. And, and give were, you that information. They showing all them different But you're going to you have to table the information because he might give you a little bit of his, his I just wanted that, like yeah. you say, they're going to do it in the series and give everybody's opinion whose face they showed up there. Or they just going to give the opinion of them all in one fell swoop. It would be dope if they did it in a little mini series, like everybody's opinion and then throw the facts off in there. But they better stretch this shit out. That's what I'm saying. You better stretch this shit out. Because if you're doing it 45 minutes, bro. That's like, a commercial. I, I'm sorry, Nick. I'll rock with you. I understand that you probably want to back so you can put yourself in those shoes. But just going somewhere, seeing something, don't make it the same as... You know what I mean? It don't make it the same, man. It don't make it the same as if it's someone's life journey. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think a lot of people understand that in life, period. Like, if you're a basketball player, and that's what every decision, every life choice you've ever made... Me as a person on the outside looking in, who am I to criticize? Bro, that's your life. Mm -hmm. That's what you've had to do to keep yourself from going insane in this world. Mm -hmm. People have that all the way around from work to their kids. And that's the thing that they don't allow you to disrespect. For you get real. what I'm saying? They might not care about nothing else in this world. Don't disrespect me on this, though. For real. No matter how bad they may be, the worst box in the world, bro. He might walk up every day since he was three years old and wanted to be a boxer. Life just didn't work out for him. But I ain't going to disrespect him on what he did. Because I ain't no boxer. Real talk. How the fuck I'm going to tell you how to bob and weave and I get hit all the time? Even though, God may, you know, even though God, may have blessed, God may have blessed me to be better than you at this. That ain't my job, though. Mm -hmm. That ain't what I do. What I look like criticizing Michael Jordan on a game performance. 
Yeah. Now I can say you might not have played up the part that you usually do as good, right. but right. I can't. I can't. Yeah. There's a lot of people. LeBron Siren. Where? Can you dunk, motherfucker? <laughs> can you dunk? Nah, I ain't got damn me as far as like, okay. It's not sorry. It don't matter who you think the greatest. It don't matter who you think the greatest. I'm going to put it to you like this. I'm going to put it to you like this. I like to see the underdog win sometime. And LeBron is just so much the king and number one that sometimes, I'm going to be a real motherfucker. Sometimes I've been like, hey, man, bring Tony Kukoc back in and let him punch on LeBron. This is just some impossible shit just so they can win. <laughs> but you can't hate on what's great. Yeah. You can't do that. The man number one right now. And, and motherfucker, he's sorry than the bitch. Motherfucker, you got a gut. You go and ball. The only athletics that you participate in is ESPN and other shit to come on the TV. Can you fucking dunk? No, shut the fuck up. Uh, if you can't, like you say, if you can't do it, don't do don't it. talk bad about it. Don't, see, don't criticize. That's why it. I feel bad about being skeptical about Nick. But I just, I know, you know what, what that's I know like. What I'm looking for him to capture. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what that's like. That's like a motherfucker that's writing, that's trying to write music in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You trying to write music and you write to a couple of yeah. scenes. And then somebody comes over that you've been trying to give some construction criticism to. And then you look at them and say, okay, <laughs> let me hear what you just wrote. And you know what they say? What? It ain't meant to be. I, I ain't write this to spit it. I wrote this just to have it. Motherfucker, how you gonna do some shit like that? How they gonna do shit like that, ain't? <laughs> how they gonna do shit like that? Don't do something. This nigga, don't me take my head off. Don't criticize head. somebody if you not letting somebody criticize oh, your shit. Oh, 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 okay? Oh, oh. okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it's a flag. It's not a yeah, fucking bandana. It's, it's not a handkerchief. And this is what Nick Cannon fuels, man. Nick, okay. Nick Cannon fuels this type of just energy sometimes. Man, I don't know, man. They got shit. And see, Nick stuff. be like, man, how do I do that? That's how, man. Gas so lighting. skeptical about what you made. That's why I say you didn't need this. You know what I'm saying? If you know anything what? financially supported, get to somebody else though. I think too much of this black power shit is going to people head for the wrong reason. They go in that black no, power shit for some money, not to empower black nah, people. Listen, man. It's for money. Bro. It's for money. Yeah, yeah. It's I can't, money. I can't shake it all the way. This is all That's why I get mad when black people say that money is money is a resource. I mean money is a source. I take that back. I hate black people that say money is a source. That is a lie. If you think that you need money to survive, you're crazy. They make you need money to survive. Mm -hmm. That's why you need money. <laughs> listen. I'm going to tell y'all something. Back in the day, people used to have trees. There used to be trees with apples. And people used to walk up and just go get an apple off the goddamn tree. They do that no more. Until somebody came in and said, hey, man, every time you grab some off that tree, you got to pay me. Yeah, you got my 50 cents. Then they made money. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Cent. You use money to buy things, <laughs> to get things that you can't have. Why do you think people go to jail for stealing? I ain't got no money. <laughs> but I still got it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That's why I made that a law, bro. You don't really need the money. But you go you get what I'm saying? You got something cost quiz if you ain't got the money. But you don't need it. That's real thing. You but don't need it. Because it's <laughs> you food is something it. you need. <laughs> like for real. Like food is a source. Yes. Real talk. Sunlight is a source. Money's not. He, you know what I'm saying? Money is my Certain source. Certain things are so, like you need no, them to survive, bro. Yeah, you don't terrible. need, like, bro, you can't eat money. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, you did okay. I know a lot of people balling, but I ain't seen too many people with a money blanket. You get what I'm saying? You, can't eat you, you know can't what I'm saying? Got a money cake. Yeah, you got know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm about to cake, cake. false. It's that good. Can't cake false money cake. It's, listen, it's that good. That 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 that's why I love you, bro, man. Skin, man. And Sam, and that's why I love King yeah. Lock. Because King Lock had like a video, bro, and he got like cereal roll full of dollar bills. But you can't eat that for real. You can't eat that for real. Come on, man. Money's not, you know what I mean? Like, I get that. I get that, you know what I mean? I think we get scheme money. Like, I, I don't think that we get that. People like having money, and life is lovely for you when you have it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we live in a world where that's what people care about. But the best thing but, in life for free. That's what I'm saying, bro, for real. Like, dude, for and free. see, I think that that's what, like, this documentary has to show because that's what Dr. CB was doing. It's not about having millions of dollars, it's about living your life right. Yeah. You can go outside and get a, and grow your own garden. And people don't understand just from starting growing your own garden what they do for you. It makes you create a routine. Mm -hmm. It makes you work hard. Yeah. It makes you pay attention. It makes you have patience. 
and it will nurture you. I was just finna say, bro, I swear to God on my baby, it will turn you into a nurturer. You gotta it'll, take care of that. Bro, you it will. Take care of that. Like, uh, it'll change you, bro. Like, so, like, bro, one thing I thought, like, people look at, bro, and I thought people was make, you know, made fun of dude. And this, and this is why I'll tell you, I think he's a different person, Mike Tyson. When Mike Tyson was boxing, you know, Mike Tyson loved pigeons. Mm -hmm. Bro, you got you a different type of person to train a pigeon, bro. Real talk. Them people that can clap and pigeons come to bro, you gotta you a different individual. Spiritually, you are a different individual. To make a pigeon fly to you. A pigeon. Animals only come to the calmest of things, bro. Like most people don't get it. A snake will sit there next to you for hours without you knowing it's there. But the moment you see it and get scared, that's when it reacts. That's why that's why you can walk up on a snake and not pay attention. Because a snake know you're not paying them no attention. A snake will be sitting right there in camouflage and you'll walk by. Yep. A rattlesnake will even give you a rattle like, hey, I know you don't see me. You're getting a little too close. <laughs> but then you get scared and you start doing too much. Like running. You get what I'm saying? Run. And then they're like, oh, if you're running, then you, you must be live or something. Shit, I'm finna be a live motherfucker then because I run up on a rattlesnake. I'm... I run up on it, I'm running away. Well, most snakes go, I'm out of there. A man once told me most snakes gonna chase you because they think you run from something. Can a snake chase you? Yeah, yeah, a snake yeah, gonna chase yeah. you. But a, a snake got the mindset where you going up going. <laughs> what? Yeah, but you, it's like a camel spider. Like a camel spider, bro, real deal. If they ever tell you about camel spiders chase shadows because they trying to get out of the sunlight. So if you start running, I'm gonna fucking chase you just to get in your shadow. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. <laughs> So I don't know nothing about animals. Let me just get big. Like camel spider, I've never heard of a camel spider. Jeez. You ain't never seen camel spider? No. Jeez. That big can get about this big, bro. No lie. A spider? It's like a big ant, though. Bitch, it's like a big ass ant. What the fuck you supposed to kill that with? A shotgun? What the fuck you kill that with? What you mean? What did you kill that with? That's nothing. You leave him the fuck alone. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, you gotta die. Listen, the world is dangerous. You didn't know that? Yeah, I know that, but I have you ever heard of an exploding tree? No. It's a tree that explodes. You bullshit. No, not. That, listen, and it got poison in it, and they use the poison to make darts. It's an ex Why the fuck it grow if it explodes? Listen, bro, people are minorities from different countries, bro. Bro, no, where is it at? Where is it at? Where's the explosion? Bro, tree? everywhere. A tree that blows the fuck up. Yes. You I'm not lying to you. Fucking with me. When we get off camera, man, I'm gonna show him. And then I'm, listen, listen, listen. And then I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on live, and I'm gonna let y'all see it. I've never seen or heard of an exploding tree. I swear listen, to God. Bro, bro, an exploding tree, bro. Stop recording. Okay. Cause they had like twelve minutes. Damn, I ain't never heard no exploding tree. Yeah. You think they about to stop recording? They had mm -hmm. Alright, bet. So what you want? You want to run it out real quick? Just to have it. Huh? You want to run? You want to do like a little ending real quick, just so you can have it. Cause I know you'll probably cut some of this. Yeah, I'm gonna cut some. Of and then we'll just. Um... Bro, I'm telling you, bro, you don't know. I did not know there was a such a, a spider, a camel spider, neither. I I know, I'm gonna let you see a camel spider first. Yeah, let me see that son of a bitch. Cause I ain't never in my. And camel life. spiders are one of the few insects that can kill. Uh -huh. uh, uh, <clears throat> It's one of the few insects that can kill a praying mantis. This house still going. Yeah, that's what I Okay, guys. Well, my it's camel spot. It's giving me a threat posture again. So I thought I would film it. That bitch big. Actually, that's very strange. Uh, they rub this fish right together. What the fuck? Clearer. Mm -hmm. Man, that whole bite you, you out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See, you get mad because he had the light. Anyway, that's what a angry camel spider looks like. I won't be doing that again because I don't want to stress. Watch it. And there she is rubbing the Swiss ray together again. Go make. So yeah, I'm just trying to get her to make it again. I do it once because I don't want to stress her out. Ooh. Yeah. I think you heard that. What the fuck was that? That's him tapping that motherfucker. That's metal. That's how hard that motherfucker Damn. bit that bitch. You heard that metal rattle in that motherfucker? I think you heard that. You heard them? 
Listen, listen, you heard how I many he hit that more he hit that bitch more than once, nigga. He hit that bitch more than once. Yeah. <laughs> you heard that shit? Y'all don't down on your motherfucking yeah. around. That shit sound like a damn tattoo gun. Man, that whole bite you, you gon' die. God damn. This is a camera spot about. Yeah. Motherfucker got bit by a baby. That's how deep that bitch went in. Whoa. God damn. Yeah, next time, um, Mm -mm. I couldn't handle it. I could not handle it. Look up that exploding tree. Hold on, I'm gonna eat them very quick. Okay. I'm gonna stop by with you. Niggas said another one. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to a quick break, right quick. We'll be back. Reagan style. <laughs> Reagan style. Exploding. Now this hurts the years going and get worse. No need to pray them because they both feel cursed. A better grind, a better mind, a better sign. No remorse behind the eyes of Brandon Caroline. Mix the motions, we'll have them fighting the turn of war. And keep an umbrella because they know when they raise the board. Ahead of time, we stay in med at a better time. Terror time, telling the tale. documentary what do you think Nipsey is looking for or aiming to tell that's what I, I don't know and that's what like my biggest thing is because I'm, I feel like it shouldn't be nothing for him to tell like, I think like everything was probably already outlined and already kind of pictured mm -hmm. so it's just now about like funding and getting it out you get what I'm saying like making sure the promotion is done correctly making sure it's on good outlets. Like, I just look for him like, it shouldn't be a situation where you gotta buy it to see it. Right. But and I don't think that Nipsey, or, or us as black people want that. Like, we want this to be worldwide view. If you can, we want this coming in movie theaters. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, we want the education pushed as far as it can go. If this can be part of a school requirement or a curriculum, we want that. We want this to become the norm of knowledge for our people. You get what I'm saying? So, like, I don't think it's nothing for him to tell. That's what I'm worried about because, like, when he goes there, then is it about you and what you have to tell? Or are you just finishing up someone else's work? Because if I'm finishing up your project, I'm not going to put my skin on it. Right. I'm going to finish exactly. up. 
what you told me to do the way you told me to do it. Exactly. Right. I'm a firm believer that you can't help somebody the way you want to help them. You have to help them the way they want to be helped. Exactly. It don't make no sense for me to come in and do it my way because then it's no longer yours. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I don't. That's what I'm worried about. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, what are you trying to tell? Me? If you're trying to tell something. That's what you think. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Like you said, I'm thinking all all is all is gonna do is, is picking up where Nick left off because I don't see what information that he can put out that we don't already have. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's just picking up where Nick left off, putting his little spin on it, getting the opinions of others and what Sadie may have may have meant to them. And that, that's what we don't have. I mean I I want I want to see it. I just don't want to be let down. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be let down or not. I don't want to be such a fucking downer that I'm yeah. just gonna say this is gonna be some bullshit yeah. without seeing it. Because <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. to certain shit uh, like pre, uh, predetermined judgment is so fucked up, and I don't want to have one of them. But this right. ain't drumline. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this ain't love don't cost a thing. You can't do this that. Ain't wilding you. out. It doesn't need no you know theatrical. DJ D Rag right. ain't finna kill no beat or cut no beat. You know what I'm saying? It's some real shit. So yeah. I just hope it gets taken serious, and I want to. I really want to see the end result. Real yeah, talk. Yeah. I'm willing to give it a chance and see it before I try to say what the fuck gonna happen to it. It's just like I said, this ain't no motion picture. Yeah. Ain't no motion picture. This dude, he's a real guy that did real shit. We already know Nip was the same goddamn way, so give us some real authentic shit. I got a question though I wanted to ask Ink though. What's that? So anybody that was not in the trailer, like we know we seen Dr. Umar, we seen um, Nazir Tariq, we seen Common, um, we seen one of Dr. CB's assistants, you know, people like that. Was there anybody you didn't see in that documentary that you feel like should show up? Uh, it's like two or three people I think that should show up. But I'm, I don't know if if they will. And I think it'll, like, I don't know. I'm going to feel certain type of way if they don't. You know, they didn't show his kid. His daughter, or was it his daughter, his grandson? Yeah. His you son, wanted, you, you know think they should have been interviewed about what was going on? Three. I mean, I've seen, like, interviews of them online, uh, on YouTube or whatnot. Yeah. Talking about the documentary, but... I think they should have been the main ones that we saw in the trailer. Yeah, family. I think his family yeah. should have shown the trailer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was one. That's why I feel weird because I'm like, I'm seeing Nick. Like, I don't understand why I even seen Nick. I'm just... I don't know. Um, why are you here? <laughs> I met that question I know too. why, but I'm, you know. I met that question too because, like I said, like me personally, I'm ready. I want to see what Nip had to show us. What was he trying to tell us? What is it? What information were you passing along? Like, yeah, and I like, like you said. So, okay. Michelle Obama. I feel like she should have an interview somewhere. Yes. Because, because she was the, big on nutrition. Nutri you get what I'm saying? She's, She's big, big on, on nutrition. nutrition. And, and especially for these schools and stuff. When right. Barack was in office, she did. You know she what I'm was saying? big on nutrition. Jesse Williams. Yes. Big on black, you know what I mean, literacy and what's going on and corruption. You yep. know what I mean, right? Yep, yep. Because they're starting to take on more black roles. <laughs> Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton. Where were you in the times that all this was going on, Dr. C? Too busy. Again. You get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, hit them. Hit them because I want to know, like, if we doing all this trying to help guys run for president try to, and this guy's not being talked about? You get what I'm saying? How? Because we talk, our black political leaders are supposed to bring us all black excellence. I, I need everybody to realize that. That's what black, that's what white political leaders do. They bring you people of white excellence. You get what I'm saying? If you think that congressmen and all these people weren't helping Bill Gates build all this stuff and he was trying to get Microsoft off the ground, you're crazy. They go to colleges and they recruit some of the top educational individuals, you know what I mean, academic individuals to put to work. That's what they do. Our black leaders don't do that. No. Are they even in a position to do that? You get what I'm saying? Have they even thought about doing it on their own, creating it? I remember back in the day when the NAACP used to be for awards for black students that had excellence. 
Now it's just like a thing they give away. Yeah. That is what it is. What? Something that they just give away. And that's what I'm saying. So I, I just look at it like, so it's, I think it's certain people that should be in this documentary. And like, that's why I said I don't feel like Nick had to write anything or add anything because it's already there. History has already told the story a thousand times. In a thousand different ways because they show you how it affects us in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Now, let the people that really know how it affects us talk about it. Because you're Nick Cannon. Like, we, we cool, but we don't need your opinion. And I think it's just important to understand that some things just aren't See, that's what I'm saying, man. Uh, it's kind of... So, I... <laughs> but I don't think he has nothing to write, bro. <laughs> Go back to the beginning. I don't think he has nothing to write. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next question. Oh, man. I can tell him all day. Um... I mean... Do you think this will help us as black people in America and globally? Globally, yes. America, no. Globally, yes. America, no. Help us with what? What's going on today? Yeah. With like <clears throat> all this virus and people eating healthy, all this bullshit <clears throat> that's come up. I think I right, listen, man. I'm gonna get a lot of flack, but I think it takes. I think it's gonna take another country, really helping us get out of what we're in. And I think it's gonna take black people from another country. Because I do, listen man, and I'm not saying that like we're not strong enough to do it on our own, but I think that whenever you have to play this game, you have to understand that this is just bigger than us. This is a real global game that we have to play. And it's about black people all together, like um, understanding the power of the Olympics. You get what I'm saying? Like how often do you see that many great black athletes sitting together when you look at a track? When you look at the track, you see incredible black or minority people from all over the world being able to come together and entertain millions. It's in those moments that we gotta speak, work, and stick together. But it's also at those moments where those athletes have to branch together and rock with each other. Like, I think it's insane, you know what I mean? Like, when you see LeBron James and you see Giannis Antetokounmpo, that people try to force them to be enemies. Watch them brothers to come together because if we start getting the best of basketball players from Greece all the time to America, imagine then what we can do because now our talents are more, it's going to be respected in Greece. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And that's how you become, you know what I mean? You, we got to come together. Like in every country, we, except for the major one, you know what I mean? We, we are mostly the minority. Mm -hmm. And anytime that, you know what I mean? That's, I think that's the power of what they did. They separated us for that. And I think this is what the documentary can show us, is that really through a lot of ways they mentally, spiritually, and physically divided us. You yeah. get what I'm saying? To do this, so now we don't work together. And I think that the answer isn't fixed until we work together. So not saying like we're not strong enough, but I think that, so like when you drop this on a global effect, I think people in other countries would be like, man, I did not know black Americans was going through that. Because they look at us like we just, are the symbol of, of greatness because a lot of them also look at us as revolutionaries. So whenever they look at defying the system, they only see us as the defiant ones, but they don't show the true reason why we're defiant. So when you start showing why we act the way we act and the truth for why we do the things we do, it is what it is. Like a barbecue, for instance. I never really realized why black people used, like why black barbecues are such a big thing until I really came back home and realized like what it's like to not have it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just important. And when you look at it as a community, sometimes a lot of times I tell people that's the best food you'll ever get because it's actually gonna be good and healthy for you. Cause when you grill food, it's actually healthy. Yeah. You grilling fresh chicken. You probably eating, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We be having fruit. We be having certain different things, you know what I mean? It's not always just fried fish and fried chicken. Word. You get what I'm saying? Like, we eating stuff that, like, is natural. Well, I don't say natural because, you know, they say you got to eat meat. But, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As far as, like, on our day-to-day. -day, well, as far as the way it's being cooked. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? It's being because, cooked naturally by fire. Man, y'all gotta realize, man, they've been giving us pigs since we came over here. Our bodies ain't naturally made to eat no pig. 
like most, you know what I mean, wasn't eating pigs in Africa. You know what I'm saying? We weren't no, eating we for were. what? We wasn't thinking about that when we got trees is full of fruit and <laughs> you kill know what I'm saying? We, and land like, full of vegetables. Land full of vegetables. And if they did eat meat, it was what? Fish, ox. Yeah, like we wasn't. We wasn't some really, beef. Yeah, we wasn't really messed up like that, man. Like meat really wasn't even in a lot of people's cuisine. Like a lot of people not eat meat like that back in them days. You know, you had some that went and got meat, but most of the time they was killing animals for the other parts of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. For the skin. The skin, the bones, the furs, the heat. Yeah. Like animals became for convenience. Like a lot of people used to look at you weird for eating small game. And so most people still do. You eat squirrel and rabbit. Yeah. Cause that wasn't normal, bro. Like the fuck I'm gonna do with one squirrel. Yeah, like, I, I hate that people make it seem like it was, but, you know, when you go back and you look, bro, uh, people weren't eating like that. Hell no, I ain't no motherfucking squirrel. And that's why it's important, because Dr. C was showing you how they used to eat back then. Bro, you got this going on, your stomach don't feel good, you can eat some cherries or whatever, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, your skin is breaking out, eat more oranges. That's how they really was living life. Mm -hmm. And when you look at them people, you look at their body Citrus. styles and, man, what? What? And I think it's crazy because now when you look at like pro athletes and you look at the way that they stay healthy, all it is is they stop eating the main stuff that we eat every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bullshit. And do, the, and do the things that we supposed to do every day, like wake up and work out. And drink water. Wake up, work out, drink water. And listen, they make sure they don't drink no bull job water either. That's real talk. Because our water ain't good water. Mm. So you can take that how you want to take it. I don't know how you drink your water. You can say what you want to say, bottled or out the hydro, whatever. Our water ain't good water, dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take it how you want to. I know some people be like, whatever, man. Yeah, okay. Okay. Put a little salt in. Water's gonna have charcoal in it. Man, I'll tell, be listen, sick. Man. I'll tell you, we've been on the water boil. For how long? They ain't lifted that fucking ball. Man, we've been on the water they ain't lifted boil. It. No! I don't listen, think that was lifted. I ain't even gonna get into that because I might listen. I don't even wanna get into the corona topics. Fucked no. I don't that's a, that's a, that's that's a whole, whole new guy. Right now. Cause the whole time we've been in this, we've been in a water band. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna say we ain't gonna talk a little more about it. next question. They gonna find some plan. You get what I'm saying? We've been on a water boil ever since. And we ain't gonna talk about what our city did for Dallas. Nothing. And what Dallas and did since. Bullshit. Nothing. We're gonna go out there and get some money though. That we will For do. damn sure. That we will do. <laughs> we'll get that so money. I ain't saying I ain't saying nothing wrong with Dallas, but Tessa County, you played your shorthand. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. You played your shorthand. You got one of the greatest resources in the world and you sold it for nothing at a time when the world needed it the most. Monetary gain, man. Man, they tripping. Man. Horrible. And listen, you wanna know one thing about Arkansas, man? Why well, I think Arkansas the promised land? The mountains. Mountains keep water. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So hot springs will keep water. They don't mm -hmm. keep water. Fresh hot keep water. water. Yeah, yeah. When God made people, that was a that was a spot. They knew when they took that that was a jewel. Yeah. When they took that that was a jewel, man. They put tax on it. Anywhere along the map. I wanted they I wanted they tainted it though. I I want listen, we need to go to hot springs and we need to go Because Kansas got mountains. They where they run. Now that's the next video. Where is that? We going to hot springs and you rapping in a spot. I'm down for what? Shit. <laughs> I, because I really want to see how Shit, natural I get no video because I mean, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We just got to put it up. Yeah. It's too bad. Hey, the next podcast from the uh, UMD. Real talk. But no, for real though, man, because I, I, I'm interested to see how well that's done, man, because I think all those things go back to what Dr. C was talking about, man. Like, it takes a fresh earth to grow fresh fruit, yeah, to grow man. fresh people. You know what I'm saying? And all that comes back in. And that's one thing that I think, I don't know if um, Nick is going to be able to capture that part. You know what I mean? But I know when he did his work with Left Eye, right? A lot of people said Left Eye was crazy and this and that. But when you listen to Left Eye, it was an interview she had. Left she talked eye. about way more than just healing just her healing body. Her. Yeah. You know yeah. Left Eye was smart, man. She, yeah. she had a lot going for and, herself. And one thing she said is that um, she understood what it became to become like one with the earth and understand the earth and and who she is as a person and her power to the earth Real and, You know what I mean? 
And it's true, like, we do owe something to the earth, no matter what nobody say. Oh, yeah. And that's even if when you die, put your body in the ground just so whatever can do what it got to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you owe something to the earth, but also in the same time, you, you owe it not to destroy it. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I ain't saying you got to plant trees, but I'm also saying, you know what I mean, don't just be burning them for no reason. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ain't saying don't kill roaches. Respect it. Yeah, I ain't saying don't kill roaches and rats. Keep them out your house. But you know what I'm saying? At the same time, don't be just a rat serial killer. Yeah. You, Man, <laughs> you, see, you see that on Facebook with a dude? He what? caught a rat. Like, he got the rat is caught on the glue shit, right? What mm -hmm. do you do to it? And that motherfucker just took a spoon and just beat that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, And yeah, the yeah. rat just screamed. Yeah, beat the shit out the rat. See, come on. That's weird, dude. <laughs> then, that wait, is wait, weird. Wait, then, then this white girl does another video. This white girl got a cat right on the leash, mm -hmm. a kitty. I'm glad you said she that. She breaking the fucking leg. She just stomping on the leg. I'm glad you said that. And what? the cat just crying. Like that, that shit pissed me the fuck out. Wow. That shit wow. pissed me the fuck out. Wow. Let me tell you something. Black people, y'all doing it. Get out my house. If you listen, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. If you that type of person, get out of my house, yeah, bro. No no Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. You gonna end up killing people. That's what it is. That's the first step of being a serial killer. Serial killer. killer. That's the first fucking sign they so, take. If you I find to, joy in her. When I went to England, man, they had me watching this uh, docu series. Um, don't mess with cats. Mm -hmm. You seen that shit? Mm. That shit was crazy. What's about? What? Don't mess with cats. Some dude, like, bro, live. Stream him killing a fucking cat and shit. That's how he started. That's how he started. Killing the cat? Bro, they had search groups of 25, 26,000 people looking for this dude. Trying to figure out where he was in the world, dude. Whole because profile he... was photoshopped, all this type of stuff. Dude ended up being like some type of crazy model type of dude. Listen, dude ended up at the end of it, like, he started out killing cats. Mm -hmm. So people's like, oh, you don't do that. That's messed up. So they were trying to figure out who he was. He was feeding into it. By the time he got done, he had kidnapped a college student, an Asian dude, and killed him live on TV. See? I mean, killed him live on the internet. See? You want to lie on it? Mm -mm. Killed see? him live for people to see. Motherfuckers is nuts, man. They want that. that... Man, that's crazy as fuck. But when you start killing animals. And dude like a supermodel, bro. That's, man, he crazy. Crazy. Talented. The sociopath. Psychopath. There it is. Fucking psychopath. Crazy. I'm like, bro, what? In jail, married another married one of the dudes in jail, living a happy life. <laughs> in jail. <laughs> listen, they can't listen. Bro, you gotta understand oh, what I'm saying to you. Shit, this dude, man. listen, ain't this one this is a different type of dude. Listen. He said married dude in jail living a happy life. <laughs> listen what I'm saying to you. Check this out though. I mean, why are you laughing? I'm trying to be serious when I tell you this. I'm laughing because dude is in jail under 24 hour surveillance. Oh, shit. and he's married to another man. Mm -hmm. They can't even touch each other. They doing it anyway. But he had no, ain't no choice. Listen, when he walk out, it's two people next to him. He's in a cell by himself. What the fuck? What? He in a single man cell? Bro, this you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but he married. What the fuck? They can eat lunch by each other. Oh, what <laughs> the fuck? This nigga crazy. That's what I'm saying. Different type of individual. Yeah, this nigga crazy. That's he my need, husband. He, right need, there. he need a check. And dude, he convinced dude to go with it. Cause he crazy, bro. That's my husband right there. I'm never crazy gonna, cats. I'm never, I hate cats. I'm never going to prison. Mm -mm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Y'all put me in here with him. <laughs> I'm trying to sell dope and make money for the people. Y'all put, put me in here with this. Y'all put me in here with this lunatic. You get what I'm saying? This lunatic. Y'all put me in here with this. This dick real crazy. That boy man. said, I'm trying to sell dope and support the family. You put me in here with this lunatic. I got to be out of here, bro. Y'all put me in here with this lunatic. That's my 6 9 snitch, man. Dope, where you going? Where you going? We're not going. We're not going. We're not going, bro, We're not going there, bro. Six nine, uh, six nine in the coronavirus is a whole new topic. That, that's all I'm saying, bro. I don't respect that no more. I don't respect that no more, bro. Y'all put me in here with this lunatic. Yeah, I put me in here with this lunatic. And I'm, I'm only selling dope. That's why, listen, you get what I'm saying? 
That's why I make decisions every day not to jump in that lifestyle because Real I understand, talk. bro. I'm not, I ain't got time for that, bro. Real talk. You, I, you don't need to be in a situation where you got to do all that. Nah, nah. Because that's what happens. Like, and, and I think people don't realize that. Like, bro, some of these people are straight lunatics. Yeah. Like, bro, it ain't even cool what they got going on, bro. Yeah. And then we get a hold to it and be like, what the fuck? Nah. God! Give me out this bitch. I seen a video the other day, right? Give me out. It was a dude in the courtroom. Right? White dude. He was uh -huh. in the courtroom. And he was already in jail. And uh, they said, you know, he basically walked up. He came up. Judge was like, yo, sir, well, we finna, um, they said that you killed your cellmate. And we're going to try you for killing your cellmate. We're going to give you a life sentence. What did he was do? like, all right. Judge was like, would you like to care to elaborate? <laughs> no. You right. I killed him. Judge was like, sir, 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 um, I think you deserve some type of... No, I don't. They just sit there talking to the dude finally just bust out like, listen, man. I'm sitting in my cell. I'm sitting here chilling. Sitting on my bunk. Dude wants to come in, start talking to me about what he's in jail for and what's going on. This guy telling me he's in jail for raping a little girl. Oh, 12, dead. 13 year old girl. Dead. And I tell him, hey, sir, don't tell me nothing else. Don't say no more in the morning. I'm going to talk to the guards. They're going to give me another roommate because I can't stay with you. Mm -hmm. I don't rock with what you did. Right? right. I don't want you around. Dude sit there and try to explain to me why I was okay. So I killed him. Because you're not going to tell me I was okay to rape a little girl. I killed him. I don't get down with you. Y'all put him in there to die. Pretty much. That's what y'all did. Pretty much. And if y'all want to get mad at me for killing him, then that's what it was. But I'm pretty sure somebody that he raped that little girl is, you know what I mean? Right. Like what is y'all talking about? It is what it is. I had a life sentence already. You're not finna put me in here with nobody that raped kids. You're not gonna put me in here with nobody that's trying to do anything ridiculous. Real talk. Fuck that shit. You get what I'm saying? I don't even want nobody that got to live a different life in my cell or out my cell. I want them to be the same in my cell and out my cell. Right. <laughs> if you got something to hide, don't come here. Don't be a drug user outside my cell and try to come to come to the cell. I don't want none of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real don't put me here with these lunatics, man. <laughs> and you might say I'm a lunatic for killing this, man. I know not, not, you're not going to talk to me for 20 years how it's okay to have sex with a 12, 13-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. Can't hear it, bro. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And I tie that to everything, bro. Like, that's like, ain't no dude been telling me, bro, yeah, man, I'm dating a 14-year-old. It's cool. Get away from me. You my age, son. You might get your ass knocked out. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, that's no way. <laughs> you what? We not talking about that. That's not up for discussion, bro. Hey, man, I got this nice little young thing, bro. Bro, I had to punch me a nigga in the mouth, bro. I don't even what? know who got to punch me a nigga in the mouth. I started turning bro. around, bro. Like, this nigga's got to be talking to somebody. Yeah, nigga, you done lost your motherfucking you mind. About? I got a daughter. Get the fuck what away from here. What are you talking here. about? Get the fuck away from here. What are you talking about? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I got it. Yeah, I got it. You know what I'm saying? A little short. Nah, bitch, we good. Mm -hmm. What are you talking to me for? I'm about to make a citizen's arrest. Yo, what are you talking to <laughs> I'm not calling the police. Like, I ain't snitching. I'm about to make a citizen's arrest. I'm about to shoot the fuck out this nigga. He's a goddamn chomo. You're pedophile. He needs to be yeah. out the street. Right? Mm -hmm. Citizen's arrest. We get to a point now, man, where society allow that stuff, though. Allow. It's a secret. It's but, always a secret. Stay away from that uncle. Stay away from that grandpa. Now, maybe I'm wrong, that. but... Don't go near that auntie. Nah, man, fuck that shit. Get them motherfuckers I miss, away. I miss the days, bro, when society used to just not allow everything. Man... I wish I had. I think a I lot wish. of people took the care that they did for black people the wrong way. Like what we were saying, they was treating us inhumane. Some of this stuff, y'all just tripping. Yeah, just tripping. Bro, they you can't slap nasty. somebody and then expect them to react the way you want them to. Yeah, I know. I walk up and slap you and then you get mad at me and I say, oh, you can't do that, bro. I stopped. I didn't mean to hit you. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm finna hit your ass back. I want some hit back. You slap the shit out of me. That what do you mean? Maybe what are you talking about, bro? They don't, the world don't work like that. Hell no. But I'm finna knock the fuck out you back. People do that on Facebook. All the time. Bro, I had a lame do that to me the other day, man. What? Bro, I'm sitting here, right? And so, we didn't go in the situation. Because the situation has something to do with the club. But the situation I had going on, individual came on my post. Commented on my post, right? Mm -hmm. And then get mad because I want to have a discussion. You came and talk to me. You can't come and do something. You know what I mean? Right. You can't come start a conversation and run off. 
Real nigga shit though. Yeah. Hey, you wrong cool. for that, dog? And he'll walk off. Real talk. Nah, nah you gonna explain to me while I'm, I'm wrong. Or say yeah. why, what the fuck yeah. I'm finna say. You, you get what I'm saying? That ain't shit. the only person talking to me like that is my parents. My my parents, uh, like my elders, I love can tell me I'm wrong. And I gotta shut up and listen to it. Yeah, real yeah. talk. Other than that, you gonna have to explain to me why I'm wrong. And I want to because hear I care about my decision. You get what I'm saying? I want to hear enough motherfucking reason why I'm wrong. Yeah, and if I don't feel like man, that's some bull, then that's some bull. We might agree to disagree. But yeah. you're not finna just come in and then slide off. The, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. you wrong in the bitch. I'm finna go. No, we can't do that. Nigga, no, you're not finna go. I'm no. finna go, right? No, no. Next you, don't, you, talk you, don't get the, here, you don't get to pick and choose yeah, battles, no. man. Yeah, you don't yeah. get to pick and choose battles in life, bro. That ain't how, mm -mm. That ain't how it go. No. You don't. That ain't go like that. Mm-mm. Most definitely, though. Fuck. Yeah, I think mine shut up about eight minutes ago. Probably. I think this was shut up. This motherfucker's still going. Yeah, yeah. <sighs>